All right, um, so that was the epidural space. There's the duramater. What's underneath the duramater? Dura. Yeah. Dura. A brachnoid mater, so it's adhering to it. And then we have a space right here. What is this space? This is CSF? Underneath. It's CSF, that's where, yeah, CSF. CSF. But what's the name of the space that's underneath the arachnoid? Subarachnoid. Subarachnoid space, <laughs> there you go. All right. So then we have the spinal cord itself. This is the pia mater covering the spinal cord. Okay, there's white matter and there's gray matter. Okay, and so this gray matter is divided into horns. So we have what we call uh, the posterior or dorsal horns, the anterior or uh, what's another anterior? What's another name? Ventral horns, and then we have something called the lateral horns. Okay, so the gray matter in there again is cell bodies, dendrites. Okay. The white matter just myelinated axons going this way or that way, um, and so in the gray matter, the cell bodies of uh, motor neurons, of uh, somatic motor neurons, are located in the ventral horns. And what's the difference between a somatic motor neuron and an autonomic motor neuron? Autonomic does it automatically okay. control <laughs> muscles that are involuntary. Right, so autonomic <laughs> controls involuntary muscles. Autonomic motor nuclei are located in the lateral horns of the lumbar vertebrae, uh, whereas somatic motor nuclei are located in the ventral horns. Okay. Now up here, this is an area where we have synapsing or synapses of uh, sensory fibers uh, with inner neurons or sometimes motor neurons. So if we look at the spinal cord coming off, the nerve coming in is initially we call a mixed nerve. And why do we call it a mixed nerve? Because it has a little bit of everything. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> but what is everything? Like. So it has both sensory fibers that are carrying information this way, and it also has motor fibers carrying information towards the muscles. But when it gets up, it splits out to two different roots. So what do we call this root down here? It's the ventral root. Dorsal root, ventral root. Okay. Dorsal root uh, can contains the afferent fibers, the sensory fibers, that are going towards the central nervous system. So these information is coming in, and if you take a look at the dorsal root, it's much bigger than the ventral root. There's a swelling in it. What do you think that's called? The dorsal root ganglion. What's inside that ganglion? Nerve cell bodies. That's where our sensory neuron cell bodies are located. And a ganglion is outside the central nervous system, right? So sensory neurons are located here. Information is coming this way. Now the motor neurons, their cell bodies are either here, if they're somatic, or here, if they're autonomic. And that information travels out to via the ventral root, but there's no ganglion because the cell bodies are already in here. Okay, so that's pretty much what you need to know for, um, for the spinal cord.